for many who frequent the cyber cafe at Delhi's Maurya Sheraton Hotel. Surfing the internet is not merely a coffee pastime, but a hard search for specialized information. Cyberspace has definitely shrunk the world, but it's also spreading out India on the world wide web. If Indian business and information technologists are grabbing the main chance, a small band of cyber impresarios are putting Indian culture, fashion and art on the net. In a first of sorts, classical singer Shubha Mudgal last year booted a website on Hindustani classical music. The internet is a wonderful way of communicating with people all over the world. It's possibly the best way of communicating. And the other thing that I saw on the internet was that there are very few uh, sites on Indian classical music that are manned by people who are actually practicing the art. So musicians, artists who are actually dedicated to a lifetime's work in music. And I thought that this gap needed to be filled. Mudgal worked with website designer Ani Gupta to develop a platform which will become an encyclopedia of information on classical music and also serve as an interactive platform between musicians and music aficionados. Well, the site contains um, an expression of m music through the interpretations of the musicians themselves. Um, it's like Shiva has also said, it's a dynamic dialogue is what we're trying to achieve. A conversation that will happen between people on the internet and the musicians that actually practice this art form. People who are actually dedicated to this art form. And that's probably the best way to learn about Indian classical music because it is not something you can learn from books. While Mudgal hopes to tap a worldwide audience interested in knowing and learning Indian music, Okhachurist, Rohit Bal, JJ Valaya and Ritu Berry have come together to click open a website on the latest trends in Indian fashion. Actually the website that uh, I'm, uh, we're doing is as a show window for Indian fashion for the whole world to see what the trends are and what exactly we're talking about when we talk about fashion. And uh, we've had an amazing response and we've got a whole lot of uh, people subscribing to it and you know wanting to know more about it. And uh, we keep changing the look and you know so it's actually trying to update Indian fashion and to let people know what's happening in the fashion industry in India. Most websites on traditional dance, music and art are nothing more than self-promotional efforts. But specialized interfaces like those started by Mudgal and Berry could soon be setting the rule and perhaps help market Indian culture on the information highway.